Welcome back. Today I'm traveling to the ancient city of Hierapolis, also known as Pamukkale. It's that very large white formation out in the distance. Pamukkale, Hierapolis. Closer, that giant limestone white formation. Made it to Pamakale. Okay, I could have sworn I was tripping for a second. Have a look at this. Upside down house. Wow, this place has gotten really white all of a sudden. Check out that hillside up ahead. Pure white. Seven spices. Okay, had a nice beef shish plate. Now I'm off to Hierapolis. Look at that incredible limestone hot spring formation glowing white travertine made it to the ancient city of Hierapolis this place is built on an ancient hot spring and it's peppered with these very strange lines Check this out, this is clearly natural, it forms the basis of the city. Such beautiful poppies. Let's head over to the ancient theatre. I've never seen rock formations like this before. It's very interesting. The result of ancient hot spring activity right here. And these poppies everywhere really add to it. Incredible ancient doorway just standing here all alone. It's one of those rare instances when there's more lumens coming off the ground than in the sky. Incredible monumental archway. What an incredible sceny fronds. Look at that. It was rebuilt on a monumental scale after the earthquake. This has got to be the most incredibly intact ancient theater I've seen so far. Got to love that little elitist seat down there, front and center. Wonder who's gotten to sit there over the years. Probably Caracalla, Hadrian, people like them. Look at those incredible relief sculptures all along the front. What an absolutely stunning theater. See that little exposed green hill right over there? That's Laodicea. Imagine being able to see it from here back in the day.
Heading down there next. Started to rain a little bit. Light rain. All right, this is a very early Christian church from the sixth century. Nice nave. I'm honestly fascinated by these very strange channels running everywhere. Like they seem very natural in how they're laid out, but they're strangely even. Almost as though that was some kind of aqueduct. But they got to be natural. I need to find out more about these very strange formations. Check out that new marble statue up there. Alright, the rain's starting to come down a bit heavier now. It's a shame so much of this place is fenced off, but I understand it's besieged by tourists. <laughs> okay. La Hitler. Nice. Okay. Okay, this is a freaky statue. Oh, would you look at this excavation? What an incredible geological phenomenon. I guess this explains those weird rock formations back in the town. Look at that formation. It's like a natural wall. And it's got that tiny little channel along the top for water. Never seen anything like this. What a unique place. No wonder they built a big city here. Apparently there's a really extensive necropolis here because so many people came here to retire amongst these beautiful pools. Oh wow. Just look at this. You come in really close, it's like, it's so fractal. There's little miniature versions of the entire travertines just here. Amongst the full scale ones. Oh my god, look at that. 
mausoleum on the edge of the Travertines. Clearly it's been buried by this formation over the years. Did I mention that this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Yeah, no surprises there. Incredible, it just goes all the way up the hill. Check out this place. Look at these inscriptions. Very worn away. Look at that busted door. Look at that dude paragliding up there. He must have a good view of this place. Oh my God, look at this monumental archway. It's absolutely gigantic. The Baths Basilica. I see. Baths turned into a basilica. Hmm, the top of the door's busted. Let's see if we can get a look inside. Frontius Gate. What a monumental archway. Probably said that a lot. And an impressive colonnaded street beyond. Ooh, toilets. Let's have a closer look. toilet evidence in here. There's a little trough around the outside. There's your evidence. North Byzantine Gate.
interesting patterns. Here's some Roman baths. Look at the way it's built in and around this travertine rock formation. They had fresh hot water straight from the thermal springs. We've got another church here. Quite an expansive nave. And a very nicely preserved ambulatory. I like it. Doing a little flyover of Hierapolis, nice. I'm going to do a little flyover of Hierapolis in a little bit. What was this place? Some kind of Bulaterion perhaps? Incredible little mausoleum up here, all alone. This whole hillside is littered with little carved fragments. I love the way you can see this ancient drainage system that they had below the street. That's pretty cool. Okay, apparently this ancient staircase leads up to the Martyrion of St. Philip. All right, here we are at the Martyrion of St. Philip. You know St. Philip? He was one of Jesus' 12 apostles. He wrote the Gospel according to Philip, which didn't make the cut of the biblical canon because it talked about Jesus making out with Mary Magdalene. Obviously, they couldn't put that in. Here it is. Octagonal church. Very, very cool. Okay, I'm gonna play us out with some drone shots. <laughs> 